The Team Go Rocket leaders have new lineups and new shadow Pokemon, and these might be the best shiny shadow Pokemon we've ever had in Pokemon Go. The Ultra Unlock Battle Weekend is here, and I just want to run you through the update really quick because it is time limited. It's only happening this weekend, July 9th and July 10th. Let's start with the Team Go Rocket lineups. The shadow Pokemon, the new shiny shadow Pokemon, are the Kanto starters, and I'm, you know, I'm kind of a Gen 1-er, so... These are exciting. Shadow Bulbasaur, Shadow Charmander, and Shadow Squirtle can be shiny for the first time in Pokemon Go. And this weekend during the event, if you evolve them, you're gonna get the Community Day exclusive moves. So if you're really lucky and you find the shiny within the next day and a half, make sure you evolve it. TM frustration off of it and then evolve it. All right, let's start with Cliff. Cliff has Bulbasaur as his first Pokemon. His second Pokemon is gonna be Venusaur, Omastar, or Crobat. And his third Pokemon is Tyranitar, Swampert, or Torterra. I would recommend leading with an Ice-type Pokemon. Ice is gonna be super effective against the Bulbasaur, of course, Venusaur, Crobat, and double super effective against Torterra. For your second Pokemon, I recommend bringing a Grass-type. Grass is gonna be double super effective against Omastar and Swampert, and it's also super effective against Tyranitar. And then your third Pokemon, a Fighting type, is gonna be a great choice because that's super effective against Omastar and double super effective against Tyranitar. Next up, we have Sierra. Sierra is gonna lead with Squirtle. And then her second Pokemon could be Blastoise, Lapras, or Blaziken. And her third Pokemon, Nidoqueen, Houndoom, or Drapion. I recommend leading with an Electric type. Electric is gonna be super effective against Squirtle, Blastoise, and Lapras. And then I would also bring a ground type Pokemon, which is gonna be super effective against the rest of her team. Blaziken, Nidoqueen, Houndoom, Drapion, they're all gonna be weak to ground. For your third Pokemon, Fighting is a pretty good choice. It's super effective against both Lapras and Houndoom. And finally, we have Arlo. Arlo has Shadow Charmander. So if you want that Shadow Shiny Charizard, like I'm sure a lot of us do, this is the guy you're looking for. Arlo leads with Charmander. His second Pokemon is gonna be Charizard, Mawile, or Salamence. And his third Pokemon is Steelix, Scizor, or Gardevoir. For Arlo, I recommend leading with a Water type. It's super effective against Charmander. It's gonna be great against Charizard and Steelix. For your next Pokemon, a Fire type is gonna be great. It's super effective against Mawile. It's double super effective against Scizor. And then for your last Pokemon, it's kinda gonna depend on what Arlo is actually using. Salamence and Gardevoir don't really share any weaknesses with the rest of Arlo's potential Pokemon, so an Ice type is gonna be your best choice against Salamence. A Steel type is gonna be your best choice against Gardevoir, and just kind of adjust uh, if you need to. And then finally, we have Giovanni, who always leads with Shadow Persian. His second Pokemon is gonna be Nidoking, Machamp, or Rhyperior. And his third Pokemon is now the new Shadow Legendary, Latios. For Giovanni, I recommend leading with a Fighting type. Lucario is always great. In your second slot, you can have a Psychic type that's gonna be good against Nidoking or Machamp, or a Water type that's good against Nidoking or Rhyperior. And then Latios is Dragon and Psychic, so it has a lot of weaknesses. Fairy, Dark, Ghost, Ice. There are lots of options, so it's really up to you, whatever you wanna use. Now, speaking of Giovanni, in order to get to Giovanni, you are gonna have to work through the special research and get the Super Rocket Radar. Now, since I haven't finished the last Giovanni special research, I'm not gonna get the new research, so I'm just gonna go through it with you here because I'm gonna have to finish my last one in order to unlock this one. Remember, if you haven't finished the previous Giovanni special research, you won't get the new one until you finish the old one. So if you do have the new special research, here's what you can expect. Step one, win a raid, defeat three Team Go Rocket Grunts, and catch a Shadow Pokemon. Your rewards are Darumaka, both forms, some rare candy, some other items. Step two, catch five Shadow Pokemon, make three nice curveball throws in a row, and defeat five Team Go Rocket Grunts for some berries, some Stardust, some Great Balls. Step three, purify five shadow Pokemon. Defeat five Team Go Rocket Grunts and earn three candies walking with your buddy. You're gonna get a Rocket Radar, lots of XP and some Great Balls. For step four, it's defeat all three of the Team Go Rocket leaders, Cliff, Arlo, and Sierra. And then you are gonna get that Super Rocket Radar. With that Super Rocket Radar on step five, you have to find, battle, and defeat the Team Go Rocket boss, AKA Giovanni. 
you're gonna get the encounter with Shadow Latios by doing that. And then step six is you're done. It's just free XP and some items. But that's not all. This weekend, there is also another timed research that's focused on battling. You can choose to either complete Go Battle League related tasks or Raid Battle related tasks. So step one is gonna be the same for both. It's gonna be power up Pokemon 15 times, use a charge TM and evolve three Pokemon. You're gonna get a Machop, two TMs, some Stardust, a battle pass, and then you can choose whether you wanna go on the Go Battle League path or the raid path. So if you choose the Go Battle League path, obviously it's gonna be a lot of Go Battle League related tasks. Ultimately, what it works out to is battle in the Go Battle League 20 times and make it to at least rank five. You're gonna get a lot of Pokemon rewards, Galarian, Stunfisk, Swinub, Beldum, Chansey, and some pretty decent items, five rare candies, a lucky egg, star piece. And then the final step is just gonna be some free Pokeballs and a party hat Charizard encounter. Now, if you don't wanna do Go Battle League and you wanna choose the other battles, raids, Team Go Rocket, and gyms, here's what you can expect. For step two, it's battle in a gym five times, use 10 super effective charge attacks in gyms, battle in two raids, win two raids, defeat three Team Go Rocket grunts, and defeat a Team Go Rocket leader three times. The rewards are exactly the same as if you chose Go Battle League. Same for step three, free Pokeballs, and the Party Hat Charizard encounter. So that's it for the update, but um, the Pokemon company did send me this lovely, massive box of Pokemon Go TCG expansion. So I think um, what I'm gonna do tomorrow, or today probably as you're watching this, is over on the Purple website, I'm gonna do a stream, finally, it's been a long time, and I'm gonna do some GBL, we're gonna work through this, we're gonna work on the research, and open a bunch of the new Pokemon Go TCG cards. So if you wanna hang out and see some battles, watch me open some packs, come through, the link is in the description. See you there.